here at the On3 and Iowa Elite Series event here in Nashville. Jake, can yes, I take me through, you know, what it's been like to be around, you know, the Tennessee commits, to be around, you know, Tennessee this past weekend, and just kind of where you, you know, kind of see this recruiting class shaping up at? Yeah, you know, it's been awesome just to be around the guys, be around uh, fellow commits um, who have been on campus, and then people who we want to be commits sure. who uh, have been on campus. It's, it's been really good just to, you know, hang out with them, meet them, see what they're like, because they're, you know, your future teammates who could be lifelong friends. So it's been really exciting. You, you keep up with it pretty good. You're sitting down with, you know, J.D. Pacale and Josh Newberg, and yeah. you reference Josh's prediction for for Mike Matthews yeah. so I mean like what how much do you kind of I'm sure you didn't much care for it when people were predicting you places but right. now that you're on the other foot how yeah. much do you got to pay attention to that stuff? I, I pay attention pretty much everything Tennessee like all the prediction stuff so that was fire that fired me up about Mike so that was exciting you come into this this event and how much do you lean on him now knowing that you know like there's some momentum there you know right. let's keep that going yeah you know I think it, momentum is a huge thing with everybody's recruiting process uh because you know it, it, it really can be that final factor is momentum or something that you know the way uh, a commit might talk about sure. you. So when you look at Ryan Wingo, he's here as well. Yeah, and you referenced to Marty Jefferson, who's not here, but right. uh, you know had a chance to come, just had some other obligations. Right. Um, how much do you try to work on those guys I, know, to have that kind of tr three-headed monster along with JJ Harrell? Yeah, you know I do a lot. Um, just. Try not to be overwhelming to them, right? You don't want to constantly just – you're already getting questioned by other coaches, sure. media. Um, so you try not to be super overwhelming, but I do, you know, talk to them a good bit and just let them know that I would really like to play with them. I think Tennessee could be a really good spot for them. All right, so you're in town this past weekend for the A65 Live event. Yeah. Near Jackson's in town. That's a guy that's down near your neck of the woods. Yeah. His first visit here, how much were you kind of just been like showing him the ropes? Like, hey, this is, you know, what's old yeah. Tennessee for me, and blah, blah. Um, so Amir, obviously, is in Portal right next to Savannah. I never met Amir before, so he got down there. I kind of introduced myself, was like, hey, you know, we live like an hour away. He's like, yeah, I know who you are. And I was like, well, that's good. I know who you are, too. <laughs> so uh, he was on my team for the A65 Live event, you know, Ablin and the athletes. Uh, we, we won the scavenger hunt, by the way. Um, but it was awesome just to be around him, super athletic. Um, really long, and you know he's from South Georgia, so. You got Cam Michael, another South yeah. Georgia kid. I mean, like, are you trying to rack up down there in South Georgia? Are you trying to make that like kneeling South down there? Yeah, I think they'd uh, they probably have a headache from the amount of times I looked at him and told him South Georgia come to Knoxville. So, you know, him, Cam brought one of his teammates who's a defensive end, um, Amir. You know, just just everybody down there. I, I think it'd be great. A few months re removed from committing. Yes. Is it just, is it just have a different weight off your shoulders? It, it, How different does it feel? It, it does. It has a huge weight off my shoulders. Um, it's great to know I made the right decision, too, because I know I've talked to people who, you know, may have committed and then felt like they didn't make the right decision, so they had to decommit. So, you know, I don't feel that way at all. I'm just really excited to be a Tennessee volunteer. Focusing on this fall and then getting back <laughs> up here for, you know, visits yeah. this fall and, and game days. How, yeah. much, how much do you look forward to that part of it? Yeah, so my official, obviously, on the 23rd through the 25th, I'm super excited for. You know, official visits is something I've been waiting on this whole recruiting process, yeah. so I'm really excited to do that. And then just get back in fall and be in Neyland Stadium again with 100,000 screaming fans, so can't wait for that. All right, Tennessee's quarterback for this 2024 class. He is leading the way on the recruiting trail, and he's someone that recruits gravitate towards. Jake Merklinger, four-star quarterback from Savannah.